Okay. <laughs> the financial reporters for the calendar year ended 12 31 22. We uh, were not very active in 21 or 22 because of the COVID restrictions. So I'm sure you're tired of hearing this on every recording you've gotten. But uh, we started the year off with 20,426.20. We had deposits, which would be membership fees and donation jars of 321. We had disbursements of 1,922 and 7. Most of those are very recent that we bought at the end of uh, 22 and they're like the projecting room and materials and for the archivist. A lot of things were taken and then put on the website. The ending balance at 1231 was 18,825 and 13. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. So I'm just going to go over a few quick items. Uh, the Historical Society is going to host the annual cemetery cleanup on Saturday, June 3rd at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're looking for volunteers to help with the raking and clearing of it. And we try to do it every year, so it's not a terrible job. Um, so if you can join us, we'd love to have you. If you just bring some rakes and gloves, maybe some shovels, and we'll provide snacks and drinks. And uh, the cemetery, of course, has always been a source of great pride for Crown King. And so I'd like to thank all of you for your help in maintaining it and preserving it. <coughs> Memorial Day Parade, that's coming up. Huh? And of course, that's one of our great events up here. And I hope everybody's going to join in and decorate whatever you like. But uh, looking for volunteers to represent the Historical Society in the parade. And I have lots of costumes for everybody, whoever is interested. You can just contact me and we'll set you up. We even have the big hats. Um, so the parade is on May 28th on a Sunday at noon. A little bit about our website and the virtual museum. I'd like to say thank you to Sue Height for her continuing efforts to maintain and expand the website and the virtual museum. It takes countless hours to transcribe and transfer photos onto the media that it takes to put it on the website. Uh, so we receive many donations of photos and letters and I'd like to thank her for organizing, cataloging, and doing all the hard work that it takes to do that. 